It's your boy Melo. We still backstage, man. I got Pablo, formerly from Group Up. Group Group One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk to us, Pablo, man. What's going on? Man, I'm good. I'm happy to be here, you know. Um, just just rocking with uh, Flavor Fest, you know. I'm having a blast. Just being able to do what I do, you know. Love it. So you're doing a solo project, right? Yeah, I'm working on my solo record right now. I just put out a, uh, a single on iTunes. It's called My Supreme Beam, so you can cop that, yeah. Okay, what inspired it? Man, um, My Supreme Being is a song where I get to like just boast on who God is, you know. Um, my Supreme Being ain't nothing to play with. You can watch the throne, homie, but the seed is sacred. Many try to be him, but they're underground like basements because many try to be him, but he has no replacement. He's so amazing, formed the world with a statement. Who you know would give the sun and the moon their placement? Who you know would give his only son as a payment for someone that's stubborn as me in the world that blames him? There's no debate in it. I forget the rest of it, you know, but that was just kind of the gist of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, just boasting on who God is, you know, and I just, that's all I wanted the song to do. Like, I have other songs that just talk about love, other songs that talk about the trial, you know, um, but that song in itself, I just wanted to boast on who God was, you know, my supreme being. So you pretty much put your whole trials, tribulations, love. Yeah, yeah, my, my record has just a mix, a mix of stuff. What would you say your favorite joint on the album? My favorite joint um, is called Rebels and Legends. Um, yeah, uh, just that contrast between the two. Um, I see it where, where, where Paul in the Bible talks about the things I don't want to do, I do. And the things I want to do, I don't do. You know, there's a constant battle between all of us, between the rebellious and the greatness. You know, the rebels and the legends, you know, and so um, that's one of my favorite songs. So, um, as far as with the. Have you performed yet already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was the vibe? It was dope, man. The people were live, the people were very energetic, they loved the music, you know, um, they were very. Uh, there was a lot of just connectivity there with the people, so um, interaction with the people, so it was dope. One thing that I noticed. Being used to being going to mainstream concerts and from a Christian concert is that sometimes the crowds tend to not don't know how to receive it. Yeah. You know, how do y'all as artists continue to have that energy regardless if the people are yeah. bombing or not and you win them over? We I always say that um, as Christian artists, it's a lot harder for us to um, make dope music because you have you have mainstream artists who they literally rap about like nothing like nothing at all I have a catchy hook and it's just you know what I'm saying but as Christian artists like we actually saying something you don't know, have to have to make a catchy hook and we don't have the outlets to where let's say Drake put something out and the whole world gets to hear it because of the media outlets. So by the time the people get to the concert, the people know their stuff, they've been singing it for like, for months. But for us, because we don't have those media outlets, when people come to the concerts many times, they're hearing it for the very first time, you know? So there's really no, there's not that relativity there where they're like, oh, I know that joint, that's my favorite song. You know, there's none of that, you know? So it's like, we really have to work harder to try to keep them going, keep the energy going, you know what I'm saying? Have that interaction going, you know? So, um, but as long as you put out good music, dope music, you know, people vibe to it, so. So, um, where can people get, you, get all your information from? Check out your music. Man, you can check me out on Facebook, you can check me out on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, my website. Everything is at Pablo Villatoro. At Pablo V I L L A T O R O. At Pablo Victor. Before you go, because there's a lot of people who don't feel that Christian rap really, they don't have skills. They think it's, it's a whole lot of chitter chat and saying God, but not really having anything. Because you just bless them and show them that it's not a game with this Christian hip hop. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Um, 
um, I'm screaming YOLO, oh no, am I in trouble? I know these right feelers are tight, they think I'm loco. I'm tired of playing little games, I'm a full grown man. You're stuck in this bubble, I'm going global. They say the world is for the taking, so pardon me if I embrace them and make them famous, so stop complaining. Cause I know you're listening closely, trying to find something to stone me, but hold me up, yeah, you can't control me. Cause this is rebel music, I'm on my Cher Guevara, revolutionizing the van, the man in the mirror, I'm a sinner. They try to give me holy water, and I chase them with liquor, went to church and prayed for the girl with the flyest figure. Father, forgive Give me for I know not what I do. I'm riding in a fast lane, I can see you in the view. Success was never handed to me. Lots of how to prove to change the views of those who doubted me. So watch what I'ma do. So yeah, man. That speaks for itself, man. No doubt. Hey, it's your boy Mello Sam Live with my boy Pablo, man. We out there. It's Pablo, and you rocking with Sap Live.